Todd and I'm his daughter Victoria and welcome back to our channel for today's adventure we're down in my stomping ground we're gonna be in Catania this morning we're gonna do a little shopping at the outdoor markets see what we can find possibly get some fish and some vegetables and then we'll head back up to Bel Paso and we'll cook some lunch make some aperitivos it should be a nice relaxing afternoon it's like a cooking challenge really when yeah. you think about it yeah so we'll let you know how much we spend today and we'll mm. see if you could do that yourself in the states <laughs> all right ready let's go let's go all right, all right. And here we go, we're in the heart of the Catania market. It's a little crazy as you can see. Over here is where we get our clams. Over here is where you have all of the seafood from swordfish, which I think we'll be getting, to calamari, squid, whatever you might want. So let's see what we can find. So we, we just got some spada here, which is swordfish. We got three beautiful pieces for eight euro. Can't beat this. Beautiful red peppers. Mm, Alright, we're gonna get some. Ah, usually you, they pick, but today we get to pick our own. That's special. Pick some good ones, Dad. <laughs> Well, it looks like they're all going to be good. I don't think you can go wrong. So it's a euro, a kilo, and a kilo is like a pound and a half. I don't know if you can see how big these are, but this is my hand. Merci, <laughs> merci. Now they weigh it. We threw in an extra pepper, and now we have beautiful pepperoncino. Okay, you already got arugula. Okay. I love the curly cucumbers here. Those are fabulous. Here we also have round eggplant, which is kind of unique. Uh, 
here they have roasted onions. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay. <laughs> So right now we're going to go into our chicken guy. So we're going to get two complete chicken breasts here that you can see. And then he's going to fillet them for us. So he's going to cut and fillet the two chicken breasts. <laughs> Watch this. It's amazing. <laughs> so he just confirmed with us what thickness we wanted because before it was a little bit thicker. <laughs> See? <laughs> Look how thin you can get that, isn't that amazing? He's just asking us if we've been to the beach recently. <laughs> <laughs> Cannot get him any thinner than he's doing it right now. Quite amazing. Dad just saw some gorgeous plums and he wanted to get them, even though he's allergic because he said it would be worth the allergy shot. <laughs> That's how beautiful they look, guys. Back to the roasted. Dad's gonna do something crazy and touch the lemon. We have tomatoes and zucchini, fresh herbs, watermelon. I guess it's a little Nothing like having fish in a barrel. Beautiful heads of lettuce. Two giant heads for a euro. So these are all the different olives he has here. The mushrooms. 
So here you, they give you a ladle and you get to try each olive to see which one you might want to get, the different kinds. Which one? The first uh, cherry tomatoes. Ah, yes. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. All right, so now we're going to go home and make some aperitivos. Come along, guys. Now look at these gorgeous watermelon. It's two euro for a watermelon, which would be $2.35. So now we're gonna to go to Cristaldi's, which is an international food store. They have a variety of different things that they import. Some things you can get a really good deal on and other things, as you can see, are very expensive. So you just have to know the prices of things and what you might want to get here as well. But if you're really craving something and you really want it, then here is where you come and you can get it. So I didn't take any pictures of it, but this is where we come to get our turmeric, chili powder, cumin, curry paste, our Asian noodles, panko, they have fresh cilantro, plantains, basmati rice, black beans, and a wonderful assortment of teas. Basically, you name it, they have it. Now this drive home in Catania from the city to Bel Paso may look a little crazy to you, um, but surprisingly the city is quite dead today. So usually this is much more hectic, um, very chaotic. There's usually scooters that are trying to cut you off, people walking as you can see, but usually this is jam packed with people. So I'll have to come back down here and film on what would be a normal day. But today, where it's so hot, people are probably just at the beaches as opposed to being in the city. So, like I said, in the future, I'll come back down here and do some more filming because this does not give you the full, proper idea of what the city's usually like. Because this is pretty tranquil. So, let's continue on and see what we find. People just like to cross in front of you, exhibit A, and run into your car. Sometimes they T-bone you, you know, while they're walking. They just walk right into your car. Sadly, this is not even a crazy morning down here. Usually it's very, very, very busy, but this is pretty tranquil. Mind you, we technically have the right of way here. In case you were wondering. I love these trees. They usually cut them back to oblivion in the, is it in the fall, right? Yeah, in the fall. And it looks like they're going to die. But they come back bloom the next year. <laughs> and here you use your horn for communicating. So it's not considered road rage necessarily. <laughs> they use a horn for communicating. Right now we're going underneath the famous Bellini Park in downtown Catania. No parking area. Yes, this is not a parking area, this believe it or not. Zone. Yes, no parking zone. You see what good that does. It's even marked. Mm -hmm. And it's shade. Yes, it's shade. And here that is an amazing thing because it's very, 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 very hot today. And you can tell that because even the locals are barely wearing any clothing. And here it's acceptable-ish to double park like we are seeing here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't mind us. And they also whip open their doors and throw their children out. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> They're not really afraid of cars. It's kind of funny.
another fun thing is they don't necessarily, even though this looks like a two, you know, lane road here, it turns into three, sometimes four, depending on the traffic, because, you know, instead of just two lanes moving, they decide to fill up all the space because they may be able to get there sooner. Yeah, not so much. So during rush hour at lunchtime or coming home from work, it is jam packed with cars in here. But right now it's not too bad because it's only 1140. So this is before the lunch rush. But here we're coming to one of the traffic circles and you can't see it, but over here is this beautiful fountain at night. It's lit up and I'll have to come back here sometimes so you can see it at night. It's really pretty. Paper towels, anyone? Mm -hmm. No? Oh, oh, and toilet paper. Of course, after getting home from the city on this really hot day, what could be better than a nice, cold, crisp glass of Gambino wine? Delicious! So these are the beautiful clams that we got for making the clam pasta today. We spent six euros on these and they are beautiful. And of course we got some gorgeous arugula. Mom ended up getting three bunches and it looked so good that I went back for another three for myself. We spent a euro for each three bunches, so we spent two euros for all of this arugula. And we got these heads of lettuce for a euro as well. Beautiful. It's really sweet too. And of course, the bell peppers. So we just got back from the Catani market and it was a successful mission. We got these beautiful red peppers. We got eight of them, which was a kilo and a half for a euro fifty. So that would be two dollars. And a pound is, let's see, a kilo is a pound and a half. So this was quite a bit that we got. And what are we going to do with them, Dad? Well, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to roast them on the grill and then we are going to peel them and then we're going to it's a typical Italian recipe where you use lemon, garlic, salt and pepper and olive oil. And so we're going to use this for a aperitivo later on today. So basically just roasted red peppers, but they're really good. So we'll show you how we do it and the recipe, I guess, maybe. We'll see, we and might we'll, share. We'll, we'll show you as we make them and also as we enjoy eating them. Of course. All right, so <laughs> let's get started. All right. Okay, so I just put the peppers on the grill and before I even turned it on, guess what temperature it was? 450 degrees. That's right, I don't even think I needed to turn the grill on. Okay, so the peppers are finished. The joke was on us. We lit the grill, but it started, as you can see by the picture, like around 450 degrees. Uh, this was like 10 minutes on the grill and we have roasted peppers. Now what we're going to do is we're going to cover them and let the um, heat or the steam from the um, peppers to re loosen the skin from the peppers so it could be easy for us to peel. Yes, and we actually needed, as you can see, <laughs> oven mitts because the bowl I left beside the grill uh, just in the sun, nowhere near the grill, and it was so hot that we needed oven mitts to pick it up. <laughs> Welcome to Sicily in almost August. <laughs> yes, there we go. All right, we'll let them steam and rest. All right. So just unpacking a little bit more of our loot that we got at the Catania Market today. I was able to get these gorgeous nectarines. There's 13 of them here, and I got them for a euro, so about a $1.25, $1.50 for these beautiful, nice, ripe nectarines. And you can actually smell them right now. They smell so good. We actually got a cantaloupe too, which <laughs> we were able to smell all the way home. It smells delicious. We'll have that later with the aperitivos. Okay, so today in the market we bought some olives uh, from our favorite olive vendor and we got a half a kilo of these green olives and uh, we paid three euro for them and 
he always throws in a beautiful hot pepper too uh, for us to be able to enjoy with the olives. Mm -hmm. So we'll let you know how they taste as we eat them with our appetitos. Sounds good. And of course, to top it all off, we get some fresh regotta. Mmm, mmm. Goes perfectly with all of these aperitivos. Okay, so we just finished preparing the aperitivo, so now we're gonna enjoy this wonderful little feast here, and then in a little while, we'll start preparing dinner. So for now, we'll enjoy this. It looks delicious, so buon appetito. Buon appetito. Okay, so now we're gonna do the swordfish. So we're just gonna simply put a little salt and pepper on it and we're gonna put a little olive oil, our fresh olive oil, and then we're gonna grill it. Usually we would make a rub for afterwards, like a lemon, olive oil, garlic oil. Um, but now instead, because we have the amazing roasted peppers that we just did, we're gonna use that on top of it instead because that has olive oil and lemon and garlic already in it. All the good stuff. All the good stuff. Mm -hmm. So we'll show you those and talk about those in a minute. But for now, we're just gonna throw these gorgeous steaks that we got, swordfish steaks, spot up, mm -hmm. on the grill. All right. So now I'm going to start making the clams with the pasta and we're going to be using these adorable little cherry tomatoes. I don't know if you can see just how tiny they are, but they're from the garden that mom's been taking care of for a while and they're just beautiful, these little guys, and they're so sweet. They're like candy. So we're going to use those in the pasta right now. So we're just going to get that prepped and we'll show you the process of making the pasta with the clams. Here we go. So I'm about to start cooking the clams. And one thing I find very important for cooking is having a good glass of wine while you're cooking. So I decided to just have a little glass of alicante, my favorite red wine. So let's get started. The water is already boiling, so I'm gonna add the pasta to the water because I can do that now and then start the sauce for the clams because it doesn't take very long. So right now I'm just gonna add the pasta to the water and then we'll get started on the sauce. So Victoria, how much pasta are you cooking? Just a half a package. And how much is that? So Victoria, how much pasta are you putting in? I'm doing about a pound of pasta today. Oh, okay. And that package is uh, one, one kilo. kilo. Okay. Yes. So I did actually I did less than a pound because I did about half of this package, or meh, a little less than half the package. Nice. Yeah. So and that just... that two. Uh, that kilo, uh, you know, this pasta kilo of pasta, pasta is... was, I think, on sale for 50 cents. Oh, 69, I was corrected. 69 cents, so not bad. Yes, not bad. All right, so now I just finished chopping up the fresh garlic. We did a few cloves of garlic here. Just a nice thin slice. I like slice as opposed to dicing for this because I like having the little bit of chunk in there. So we're going to add this to the pan with a little bit of our fresh olive oil which as you can see is nice and rich and green. I don't know if you can see that in the picture, but it's beautiful. So we'll just add a little bit of that to the garlic and get that toasted for the pasta. And that olive oil comes from Bronte, which is on the other side of the mountain. Mm. Mount Etna. It's so good. Was this last year's or this year's? I think it was last year's. Okay. It's so delicious. So we'll just let that heat up and saute a little bit 
and then we'll add the tomatoes. Okay, so as you can see, the garlic is starting to get a little toasted and we like things a little spicy. So I add a little hot pepper to this as it's cooking, just to infuse the oil a little bit with a little spice of the hot pepper. So once this cooks for a few seconds more, I'll add the tomato and then we will add the clams. Okay, so now that that's nice and toasted, we're gonna add some of these beautiful cherry tomatoes from Mom's Garden and just give it a quick saute for just a second. We don't want them too overcooked. And then I'm gonna add the clams. So now I'm gonna add the clams that we already soaked and they already are clean. So we'll add those here. I'm just gonna toss that for a second and then we are gonna add some white wine. This some? Yeah, you know, just a little to start. We'll steam them in the white wine. Get those all spread out. These clams are beautiful. Can you see them? Okay, so you can see that one's already starting to open. We'll add a little bit of white wine here, just to steam them in a little white wine. Puts them out of their misery. Absolutely. At least they should be happy while they get steamed. Okay. So we'll do that. I'm going to cover this for a second, and in a minute, when we come back, you'll see that they'll be open. Okay. So now, as you can see, they're starting to open up a little bit. So now I'm gonna add the lemon juice. So, so far we just have a little bit of white wine in there. Now we're gonna add some lemon. And how much lemon is that, Victoria? That's actually one entire lemon. This was a nice juicy lemon. So it depends on how much juice you get out of it as how much you need to use. But that's gonna be the entire sauce for the pasta is just a white wine and lemon, and then a little bit of olive oil. So now I'll put the cover back on and we'll let this finish steaming. All right, so now the clams are completely open. As you can see, if you come closer, you can take a look and see how they're all open. And the sauce is done. So now we're gonna add the pasta that just finished and the fresh parsley. That smells so good. Mm -hmm. All right, so you have the pasta here, and now we're gonna add the fresh parsley. And we're gonna toss it and just finish this off in the sauce. Just get it all coated here. I like to keep it on like a low or a simmer just to let the pasta finish in the sauce. Get a nice flavor. I wish that we had smell a vision. Smells so good with the lemon, the white wine, clams, tomato, parsley. So some of that liquid will absorb into the pasta, which is absolutely fine. It'll season it, and then some of it will just be the sauce. All right, so we'll let that rest and meld for a second, and we'll finish with the salad. So I just finished cleaning three out of the six bunches of arugula that we got, and they are beautiful. Big leaves of arugula. Unlike in the States, mostly we get the small, thin leaves. These are really tender. You think where they're larger, they would be more bitter and tough, but no, these are really tender, almost like spinach. So now I'm gonna make just a simple salad to go along with our pasta and our swordfish. Okay, so I just finished preparing dinner, so now we're gonna sit down and enjoy. Yes, and so we have the grilled spada, which we did a little bit earlier. We have the pasta with the vangole, the clams. We have crostinis. We have the roasted uh, red peppers that we grilled earlier. And we have the arugula salad as well. Mm -hmm. And as a special treat for sure, what are we going to be drinking with We're gonna this? be drinking our last bottle of this amazing Grillo. 
um, that we get on the other side of the island from Marsala region. And hopefully one of these days we'll be able to go over there and bring you with us. And also we'll be able to get some more vino. You know, it's a little guilty there. <laughs> How is it? It's excellent. Oh, I'm not going to lie. Good. So that pairs beautifully with seafood, actually, the grillo. Right. So we're going to enjoy this, and I hope you enjoyed our video today. Yes, and please like and subscribe, and ciao for now. Bon appetito. Bon appetito. Ciao. Ciao, ciao.